Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would inform you guys of some affordable products that are better dupes than their expensive counterparts. The affordable products in this video are on heavy rotation in my makeup routine, no matter what season it is, no matter what year it is. Excuse any noises. We have a friend, I don't know if you can see him. Brogan, do you wanna say hello? Of course, my camera won't turn because Everything is always broken here. Brogan is here. He's sitting in the window and it is a beautiful spring day. There are birds singing outside and let me know down below in the comments. Is this annoying? Do we mind the birds in the background or is it like relaxing? It is Sunday at 5 40 p.m. when I'm filming this and I get a lot of anxiety at the end of the weekend going into the work week. So I thought listening to a songbird would just relax us all in preparation for whatever it is ahead. If you are new here, my name is Fortune. I am a certified professional makeup artist. And yeah, I just love to share product knowledge, makeup techniques, skincare techniques. If you head over to my Twitter or onto my Instagram, you'll see some workouts. I have more lifestyle content, but yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the better affordable versions of high-end products we all obsess over. Beloved Beauty Blender Sponge. This bad boy one of them retails for twenty dollars now if you say that out loud have you guys ever thought of the fact that you spend twenty dollars on an egg shaped sponge because it's kind of crazy but beauty blenders are so good that you know twenty dollars is twenty dollars what are you gonna do a sponge that i love just as much maybe if not more aracelli they come in a package of two i believe you can buy them individually as well but a package of two is twenty eight dollars so you can get one for twenty or two for twenty eight these have the most similar kind of firmness and texture as the beauty blender. This is like the perfect dupe guys. If you follow me on my Instagram or you watch my shorter shorts, I guess they're called videos here on YouTube, then you will have seen that I've been using an Aracelli sponge that is black on like every single one of my tutorials. I love it so, so much. They are fantastic dupes. So for this category, I have a most expensive, a medium expensive, and then an affordable. Yensa Sunlit Bronzer. It's just a cream bronzer. It's so amazing. It really juices up the skin, makes your skin look bright, while also looking bronzed and just sun-kissed. But this is expensive. Pretty sure this is 38 bucks. I've been using this for, I want to say over a year, and I have made a dent in it, but I have yet to hit pan. This is a blush in terracotta, but it has the same kind of, like the same kind of tone. Merit is a a little bit darker of a brown but once it's blended into the skin it gives it very similar vibes like I know you're looking at this like those are two very different colors but similar vibes with the finished makeup look but Merit is just like a creamier formulation and it is more sheer if you're picking it up and patting it into the skin patting will put on more pigmentation that is Merit and again in the shade terracotta this bad boy retails for $28 so still pretty pricey Merit is a clean makeup brand though. So if you are someone that will only use clean or wants to test out some clean products, Merit is where it's at. The whole brand in general, I'm a huge fan of and I cannot wait to try more of their products. I've done a couple videos where I talked heavily upon Merit, so I'm not gonna touch upon too many of the products here in this video. I think this is the only one, but I will put all corresponding videos for Merit if you are interested down below. And then let's just hop back to Yensa really quick because I just want to swatch them all for you. But Yensa is more of a moussey texture and it packs on more pigment. But you can also thin it out, you know? So amazing, beautiful product. And then the most affordable version of this kind of a cream bronzer, which is also better in my opinion, Ardell Glam Touring Stick. I've been talking about this for years and years and years. I am such a huge fan of this. This comes on every single trip with me just because it's so convenient. I draw it on the skin, one, two, three, done. Blends it out with a sponge, blends it out with a brush. Either one is so beautiful. And this is the most pigmented. Again, you can sheer it out. The other side is a highlighter. I never use this. I don't like this. I find that it's one of those highlighters that you put it on the skin no matter if you put it directly, which is never like the best way to do it. But if you put it directly with a sponge, with a brush or with your finger, Finger, like it just picks up the foundation underneath so I don't use the highlight but guys out of all of these I could live forever just with the BH 
Cosmetics. No, I'm sorry, it's not Peach Cosmetics, it's Ardell. Ardell Glam Touring Stick. I could live with just this, honestly. Charlotte Tilbury, we all love her, adore her. Brogan, are you leaving us? I think he's leaving us, um, sad. Brogan has left the building. I just feel like Charlotte Tilbury, in so many words, is that brand that I just gravitate towards. You know, it's like pretty packaging, it's just in a lineup of things, I feel like your eye directly goes to Charlotte's products, which I find myself picking them up constantly. Lip Collagen Bath in Refresh Rose. It is a beautiful peachy plumping gloss that does not sting. It has a little bit of a minty smell. I'm wearing this today. It is so beautiful. I really like it. It does a really good job of filling in the lines of your lips. That's definitely a part of the plumping aspect. It has a gel-like consistency but it is thinner than the dupe that I bet you could all guess without me even saying. NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper, which is actually not called that anymore. NYX rebranded this and now it has a different name. I'm not sure what the name of it is. I cannot tell you like how obsessed I am with this lip gloss. I bought like eight backups of it. It's just a clear lip gloss, clear plumping lip gloss, but I bought so many of them. I still have the old name of the product. So anyway, but this retails for $7. NYX is definitely thicker than Charlotte Tilbury and NYX will last longer on your lips than Charlotte Tilbury. And I also think that NYX makes your lips look bigger by adding even more hydration. They're both really great, but I would say why spend $35 when you could get a better product? for seven. MAC lip liners are exactly the same as NYX lip liners. They are literal literally the same. Okay, get the NYX, they're $4 as opposed to MAC that are $19. I do a lot of lip video videos here. Does that even make sense? Lip video videos? I do a lot of lip videos here on my channel. I am constantly trying new lip products because I am a lip product fanatic. I'm also a wine fanatic in case you didn't get the memo that this has all different wines on it. Mike bought me this. Chianti is missing from here though. Chianti. Italy has my heart. Chianti is like my favorite wine. Rufino, I'm pretty sure any kind of wine you get from Rufino, Chianti, so, so good. Okay, but anyway, MAC Boldly Bare, which is, I'm actually wearing both of these today. I don't know. Beautiful, like pinkish, peachy, but like right toned kind of lip liner. And then I'm not saying that this shade is a dupe for Boldly Bare. However, NYX Sandstorm, oh, this is just like a beautiful staple for anyone to have. And it is kind of good shadow, overdraw your lips kind of a shade, so, so good. So you guys know the brand, the skincare brand, primarily Fresh, right? I'm pretty sure that it's only skincare. Don't quote me though, but Fresh, okay. Chapstick that comes in a little pod. I'll put a picture of it right here. Super popular, they smell really good, they taste pretty good. $18 for a chapstick, which is pretty expensive. Well, let me tell you something. I don't have one of them on hand from Fresh because I think like I spent my Sephora points on it and I really liked it. I'm pretty sure it was caramel scented, um, but I didn't like love it, love it, love it enough to go ahead and spend $20 for chapstick again. So I was in Harman's and I saw this really cute packaging, Wet n Wild, guys. I feel like Wet n Wild is one of those slept on beauty brands. I feel like this is gonna be like a limited edition kind of thing. Wet n Wild Lip Treatment in Grapefruit Mint. Oh my God, it has the same kind of packaging as Fresh, except in my opinion, this is cuter because it has the little lips on it, so cute. It smells exactly like grapefruit, grapefruit. Again, I cannot speak today, sorry. It feels really good on the lips. It's not like the most hydrating thing, but it does get the job done. It feels really nice and it is very thin on the lips. So it doesn't last forever on them, but it's really cute to use. And I gotta be honest, I don't mind going in my purse a couple times or a few times, I should say, throughout the day to take this bad boy out and apply it. It's so, so good. Let's just talk about Flower Beauty lipsticks, okay? I think that they are beautiful. They don't look like super expensive, I'll say that, but I do like a clear packaging. Clear packaging is definitely my vibe. But like the formula of these lipsticks, guys, Peachy Nude. This one has been a hit recently and I just like to put it in the middle of my lips. Just, did you see? Did you see what that did? Why didn't I put this on before? It's just, these lipsticks are comfortable. They are thick, but like thick in the right way. They're hydrating, they're not drying. This is comparable to like Tom Ford. I don't really know guys, okay? And these are, 
pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure these are like $9. This is Peachy Nude. I've gotten a lot of questions on it recently. Uh, this is too peachy of a shade for me to wear by myself. It would wash me out, you know, because I'm pretty fair skinned, you know. So I always use this with a mixture of things. I always make sure my lips are lined with something darker than this. This is like a lip topper addition to my lip combo kind of a shade for me. So this is Peachy Nude. It's like a peachy, it's a bright peachy pink, okay? And then this is another one that I love that is more wearable, I would say like every day, kind of like throw it on your lips and go. This is in the shade Naked Blush. See, just like your typical pink nude. Peachy Nude is in a cream texture, and then the other one, which is called Naked Blush, is a matte texture. Two different formulations, but both beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. I would say that their matte formula is a really good dupe for any MAC lipstick, which I will swatch one right here. This is Among the Fireflies. I'm pretty sure this was limited edition. Really beautiful, but I just think that Flower Beauty makes really good lipsticks, and if you haven't tried them out, girlfriend, what are you doing? You are sleeping on it. Telescopic Mascara. I haven't used it in a minute, but that was my favorite growing up. That was the only mascara I would buy on repeat because it just gives you that really wispy, effortless lash, and that's like my lashes today. I am wearing Merit Lengthening Mascara, which is a super expensive mascara as well. I'm pretty sure that one's $26. I think that Telescopic is a pretty good dupe for the Merit mascara, but I think it's an even better dupe for the Lash Idol by Lancome. I bought the trial size to try first. I fell in love with it, and now I constantly buy the full size. And I have so many backstock of these because I'm the kind of person where if I find something that I absolutely love and nothing has ever topped it, I have to just own multiples of it. Essence Make Me Brows. I have been using these for as long as I can remember, okay? I've been using them long before I started my YouTube channel. These are just really great. And I have this memory in my mind of when I was in college and I worked two jobs, went to school full time. One of the first times that I went to Ulta because I really didn't have any disposable income like that to be spending. There weren't a lot of options at the time in terms of brow gel. We're talking guys like 2012. I fell in love with Benefit and I splurged and I don't even know how much it is. I think it's like $22, $24. Girl went all in, I treated myself and that's a lot of money. That was a lot of money then, more so. Still, at the end of the day, it's a lot of money. I went to Harmon's when I was sadly running out of my gimme brow and was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just find a dupe. Maybe I'll just find something else at the drugstore. These are great. I buy these on repeat. I buy two shades all the time. Ashy Dirty Blonde shade for when I want my brows to be a little softer, especially now that I'm dyeing my hair in the warmer months when my hair's a little lighter. I like to add a little spice of blonde through it to give it some more dimension. And then for days where I want the shade to match my brows, I go with brownie brows straight up. So these are really good. They have really nice spoolies, small, can really get in there. I'm just gonna say though, okay, this is the one exception where splurging will excite you at least me, a little bit more, okay? And that is the Merit 1980 Volumizing Pomade. Guys, there's just something about this. You don't get a lot of product. It's really expensive. It just makes my brows look so natural. Like, it tints them an itty bit and lifts them and just makes them look fuller. And I said this in one of my recent videos, I just feel like because it is a clean formula, it doesn't like gunk up my brows. I double cleanse at night. I use an oil-based cleanser and then I wash my face with a typical face wash cleanser. Like I do the double cleansing, but I just think that like brow gels like this of the Essence Make Me Brow kind of just stay in my brows, especially because I have pretty thick brows. I have to say, since I've been exclusively only using Merit, my brows are just naturally fuller. Like I'm saving my actual brow hairs. I don't know if that sounds crazy, but if you've experienced the same since using Merit, or you know, if you wanna go ahead and try it, like let's conquer the conspiracy together. Let me know what you think. Give it like a little bit, but I've been using Merit for, I wanna say like two plus, maybe three more months. I don't really know, time flies nowadays. My brows are bushy 
naturally and I feel really really good about it so guys that is it those are all the products that I think you should buy and save your money these are the dupes for some of the best products out there in my personal opinion if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like it you love you some dupe videos which I don't blame you do be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up down below make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave let me know down below in the comment section do you have a dupe for an expensive product let me know have you tried any of the products that I mentioned here in today's video let me know I would love to hear thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.